just like that. Hello and welcome. Um, I'm just in a random world. You know what? I, I wanted to talk about some stuff going on uh, around the channel, doing stuff, you know, all these types of things. Yes, we have gained a lot here in the last few days. Um, I'm completely dumbfounded at the video that I put up. Yes, it was for my car. Yes, it was not from a furry world or anything like that. It was a normal everyday video that we put up. And you know what? I, it's, it's good to see that uh, the YouTube algorithm picked it up and decided to roll with it. And you know what? I'm grateful for all the new subscribers. It's absolutely amazing to see all of you here. Now, of course, things are kind of up and down, you know, um, I'm, I, I go by Cinder Shadow. I've been on YouTube for quite a while and the whole definition of my understanding on what's going on with like the algorithm and YouTube, I have a pretty firm grasp of that. I've helped other channels, um, in particular, um, they, they, they've grown immensely. I haven't because I never have time to really put in a lot of dedication into a channel. And that's what I try to do majority of the time is just put in some more work. And that's where we, we are right now, where I'm going to talk about certain things going on. I figured I'd talk about my descent into the furry fandom, right? Um, I did a whole idea, a whole dive deep into who I am, what it means to me. Um, the whole idea of what you see in front of you right now. Now, this, this form you see, this is my avatar in VR chat. This is not the final detail. There is details coming because I have been working in the background to actually get this as a fully customized version of what I want to see. Not so much what we have here. Yes, this is the more natural one that I've picked out. Um, there is a few different colors for this particular avatar. This is a very base model when it comes down to it. And yes, I have been playing around with things in the background, trying to understand how to make all these programs work, and they are not easy. I gotta say, if you're diving into something like this, it takes a lot of dedication and a lot of time and a lot of effort, which is very in short to supply right now. Like, I don't have a ton of time. That's where... I make a video like this and we're just gonna talk and it's chill and we're gonna do things, you know, out of the ordinary. Yes, I'm in the middle of a Japanese inspired world. It's in the new and, no, no, new and noteworthy channel menus or the, the worlds that you can pick. But in this case, I felt like it was something that was more appropriate to do in the avatar than to talk uh, as myself in front of the computer. Um, I, I just want to say, you know, the, the question was posed to me uh, recently, uh, and it's been thrown around a few times. Like, I've, I now know real life friends that have been friends for years. And then they turn around and went, oh, hey, so what's it like? You know, they, they started asking me, they, they started telling me, yeah, I, I've always known you're a furry. And I'm like, what? Uh, excuse me? Uh, this is something that I didn't even realize that was going on. And, you know, it was asked in recently in a video, are you a furry? And I'm like, well, what am I supposed to say to that? I don't know what I'm supposed to say other than I've dove in deep into this fandom and I absolutely enjoy it. it it's a it's a very fun time. Um, you know, they, they say you're not officially it until you say it uh, that you are. And I've dove in deep into this uh, fandom. It's now been three months since I went to the, the furry con. Um, and since before that, you know, I, I, I looked at things here and there and it was kind of like... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do because I don't fit the mold. There's a mold and a very stereotypical one. And this is, this is part of it. They're like, this is where, you know, I've come to learn that the, the stereotypes of furries are completely out to lunch. Everything you knew about a furry doesn't exist. Um, no, the, you know, there, there's people that have started stories saying, oh, the, the, you know, these people, they will, they will go into a litter box and because they believe they're a cat. 
you know, if that type of thing is going on, I think you need to seek some medical help because that's not what it's about. There's nothing about that. Yes, it's it, maybe it goes a little bit too cute in some things, um, and maybe it just goes and crosses a line. But since I've been in VR chat, going into public lobbies on VR chat, you do get trolled, and this is a troll. This is nothing more than a troll. It's just someone sitting out there trying to perpetuate a, a stereotype that doesn't exist. Um, if there are people that feel the need for something like that, obviously there's something else going on there. I, I, I don't believe that is the, the nomer to, to indicate that there is a furry there. I believe there is someone there that may actually need to seek a little bit more attention overall. It, it, that type of thing, from my understanding, doesn't really exist. You know, I have seen some stories where schools are, are getting upset because there's kids that are doing things. You gotta remember these are kids. And kids, once they grow up, those types of things are, are kind of going to move on themselves. They're going to do something more. And that in particular, I think it's a, a little bit more of discovery. and. At that point, you, you kind of got to say, hey, listen, you, you, you can't do these things in school. You can't do these things anywhere because it's not acceptable in normal society. Now, is that what makes a furry? Is those controversial sort of things that are going on in schools? No, that's a kid trying to explore and trying to push a boundary and trying to say, listen, I need to push this boundary because you're not going to do anything about it. No, th that that's where kids growing up, they kind of need a set of rules and I should know because this is where things are very different for me. I am a father, I am married, I have a wife, we have a kid and everything I have seen in this fandom is a very, very much different scenario to that. Yes, we exist. People exist in all walks of life in this fandom, right? It just happens to be there, there. There's a large amount of people that just happen to be uh, more willing to do whatever they want sexually. That's that's not for me. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because I think it's fun. I think it's absolutely amazing to see all the out uh, and the the artwork. The customization you can do, the the creation side of things, where you make yourself something more. You make a duality of yourself, and you put it out there in the world to say, "Hey, listen, this is what I am." I, I you know, I someone can be a werewolf, someone can be a dog. You know, the, the musky dog that's that's sitting out there that that just wants to sniff his own armpits. I I mean, that's. That's something that people play up. It's a little bit more role play, but at the same time, there's a little bit more behind that. That's not where I am. That's definitely not where I am. Where I am is I, I, I took over to a bird. I, I went more of the root of a phoenix because of the rebirth, the relife, the, the retelling of one's person. You know, there I, I can go for hours into why I've chosen this path, why I have said, let's make a Phoenix. Let's go more of that side. And I've already done a few hours worth of content of that. If you haven't seen the story of Cinder Shadow, I, I do tell you to go see it because it is a deeply um, traumatic experience that I've gone through in my life. And it's ones that I know a lot of other furries have gone through very similar stories, just not that that side of things. It's usually you have parents that just don't want to take care of you properly. They 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 things. You, there's a lot of a rebellious, rebellious sort of stuff also in it. But I'm at the age. I'm at a different stage of my life, and now it's like okay, well, it's the age of the furry. It's age of where do I go? What do I do with this? And I have to say, it's absolutely been fun. I, you know, I sit there in live streams. I've gone to a few community events now, and those community events are absolutely baller. I have to say, the community around VR chat and the, around just everyone having fun playing video games and just having a laugh and just 
being themselves. And, well, it's actually more than themselves because you get to play up the more cartoony side of things. You get to do things that you wouldn't normally do in the real world. And that's the difference, right? Now, this is the VR chat side of things. This is the furry VR chat side of things. But what does it mean in the real world? Well, does that mean I'm going to attend every convention? Does that mean I'm going to go out there? Yes, I want to attend more conventions. I'm already going to be attending for a again like that that that's that's a a must do at this point it, it it's not that I'm going to have a choice not to go to that it, it's I have to go to it because honestly that was some of the best content I have ever made in my life it was the most fun content and I just enjoyed myself I I, I, I threw all caution out the wind because I don't need to worry about anything in and around all the people that are there because they're all there for one thing and that's to have fun and just show off their persona to show off themselves to express themselves very very differently than they can in the real world they're they're you know when you're in the real world when you're doing your day job you're among the normies you're you're among people that you don't necessarily want to be around all the time and that's the difference when you get into a world like this and you you just sit there with friends for hours on end just playing and talking and just doing things doing silly things like taking shrinking down to the size of a little little tiny little little tiny furry and hopping into a, a alcoholic style drink just for photos for a photo op because it's absolutely hilarious you know it really reminds me of when you go to that wedding and they have a photo booth set up and they've got all the little masks and all the little things you can do that's what it reminds me of, but it's to the next level. It's to something else in that sense. Once again, I digress because that's about VR chat. That's not so much about the furry fandom. You know, when when I attended the, the furry con, I met people of all walks of life. I met people that were there just to have fun that were there to meet their friends that they don't see normally. There was people that flew 2,000 kilometers, or 2,000 miles. I'm in Canada. There were people that flew 2,000 miles to be at that convention because they wanted to meet up with their friends. That's absolutely insane. You know, and I sit there and I sit there and I go, you know what, there, there's a huge convention going on. There's people that I know that are going from Australia all the way to the States to be at this convention, to meet up with their friends that are at a different state that they're going to. They're meeting up, they're, they're traveling all across the globe right now to be at these conventions, to meet up because they want to see their friends and they just want to get a real world hug from them. And that's the difference here. That's the difference that I've seen is just the, the willingness, the communities that come together over this stuff is absolutely amazing. I have never seen anything like this. I don't see this on YouTube. You know, I, I have friends on YouTube and yeah, we get together and, and we play games and we do stuff like that, but there's not this huge sense of community where we're like, okay, we have to get together. We have to do this giant con convention so we can all to get together. You know, there's TwitchCon, there, there's things like that. There's a YouTube summit. There's summits but it's not the same thing because you're not going to these things to meet up with friends or to collab or to do things just to say listen let's go out and get a bite to eat because we've never seen each other or we haven't seen each other in years or in a year and that's the difference here it's you become friends with so many more people online and the community in itself is absolutely amazing in that sense Am I being drawn in? Am I being hypnotized at this point? I have no clue because I'm, I, I, I literally was on the outside looking in. I was sitting there going, okay, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. And now that I've been in this sort of fandom for a little while, I gotta say it's absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything so much in my life that just props people up instead of tearing them down. You know, I, I'm Canadian, and there's been a lot of stuff going on in, in video games, in Hollywood, that you, you could sit there and you can point fingers at all day long. 
you can drum up drama you can make a disparaging post on twitter and people sit there and they you know a lot of people will like it but it doesn't give you a sense of of well-being it doesn't give you a sense that oh hey you know i i, I threw up this post i ratioed someone hey that I, I i was in the right it doesn't give you the sense that it feels good to do things like that <laughs> You know what, I, I can throw up any post I want on Twitter, I can throw up anything I want on online, and it's up to the audience to sit there and go, hey, listen, I like this or I don't like this. You know, and it, it makes me think back to the, the, the Baldur's Gate 3 videos that I've done, which are absolutely horrendous. I, I You know, at one point I sat there, I just went, hey, you know what, I'm just going to throw up the title and, and, I, I, and just throw it out there and be like, have fun. Like, I, I just gave up on the topic and... <laughs> honestly i don't even care about the game the, the the game the first two games i thought were good the third game i went ah they've gone too far with this and you know what i i don't have the time to dedicate to, to hundreds of hours to play a game like that and that's part of it that's really is part of it and then then i look at this you know i'm look at vr chat i look at the the fandom the furries and everything else like that and i look at it and go this is just hilarious it's it's debauchery it, it, it's sure it's maybe degenerate a little bit but what isn't online nowadays seriously there 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 there's serious problems with a lot of people online and I, I, I gotta say, I'd rather hang out with furries right now than normal people any day because they are way more interesting and way more dynamic than anything else out there on the internet. It, it, it's, it's absolutely a blast to sit there and play games, to roll around, to, to just do whatever and just head pat people and you know like where can you go that you can sit there and you can you can flap your wings you can flail your arms you can nose boop a camera and where does that it, it, it's just silliness it, when it comes down to it but once again real world there's people with fur suits those fur suits cost so much money absolutely so much money I sit there, I, I, I just have to sit there and go, I really kind of want one, but how do I even do this? How, what, what do I do at this point? Do, do I sit there? Do I sit there and, and, and just try making one myself? Like I am a tradesperson after all, this is a crafty sort of thing that I could kind of do. I've got family that's all on board with this stuff, but is that really the route I want to go or do I try and save up money and talk to a reputable maker or, or what do i do with that like i don't even know where to go at this point because the direction is endless like this is what i mean i'm now in a world with the moon in the background and a, a tree that's absolutely gorgeous and water everywhere on the ground like you can see the reflection of my wings in the water it's so detailed when you're in vr and you lose yourself to it in, in that's VR VR aside but when it comes to just knowing furries and talking to them like I'm talking to some of them outside of discords and they're just regular people just wanting to have fun you know and that's part of it is everyone just wants to have fun they want to sit there and and just enjoy things and I see a passion out of every single one of them and they're doing what makes them happy they're doing what makes them, makes fun it makes the most sense in the world right now and that's where i was like after i sat there i, I dove into this and i went do i really want to go down this path do i really want to try and tell my story and when i told that story i didn't know how to portray it i didn't know how to even put it to words so I was like I talked to a couple friends that surprisingly are furries that I didn't even know at the time um and they said you know what if you're having trouble write things down I ended up writing 10 pages long 10 pages I wrote just to go okay where do I go like where where what happened you know and I went through a few drafts and I rewrote it I rewrote it until I had something a little bit more cohesive and then I realized when I went through telling that story, when I went through telling that story, I've been through some absolute garbage in life. 
holy cow have I ever. And I went, you know what, it's time to listen to myself. And that's where I'm at right now. That, that, that's exactly it. I need to listen to myself. And what myself is saying, dive deep. Lose it. Completely go. Enjoy the furry fandom. Because that's where I'm at. And I do. I really do. It, it, it's, it, it, it's a completely different thing to even think about and do. And now I just sit there and I, you know, I think back, I did the video on the old cartoons and they mean so much more. I'm, people bring things up at work that has nothing to do with the furry fandom. And it's the offhand comments that they bring up. And I just sit there and I'm like, oh, this has absolutely a different meaning than you absolutely don't have a clue about. And I'm sitting there giggling my ass off at it. And they have no clue why I'm laughing. They have no clue. And it's because of something else that's happened in, in and around me messing around in the, this fandom. And <laughs> I gotta say, it, it, I've, I've also realized that I've always been the weird kid. The weird kid, the weird co-worker that just keeps to himself and does his own thing. And, you know, like, I've never really fit in with a group anywhere. Even at work. Like, yes, I have YouTube friends. We, we're, we're good friends. And we talk. and But we don't really talk about what's going on in everyday living. We don't talk about how people are doing that day. It's like, okay, here's another news story that you can go cover. Here, here's something stupid that happened in Magic the Gathering. Here's something that's going on in the world of politics that we absolutely don't give two craps about because it's just another news story at this point. Now... Now I get to sit here and go, hey, listen, how was your day? Oh shit, you're you're having a crap day at work. Well, can what can I do to make that happier? What can I do? Can I if I if I sit there and flail my arms a little bit, does it does it make you laugh? If I sit there and and you know bring the camera all the way up to me and and just sit there and maybe bring it right up like this, does it does it make you smile? Does it do something more? You know? What can I do to just make you laugh? You know, head tilts, head tilts. It's just, this is the difference in life right now. I get to sit there and, and just be something else. I get to be cartoony. I get to be fun and exciting and, and just enjoy myself and enjoy everything else that's out there in the world. What does it mean to be a furry? Well, means you have no cares in the world anymore you have no fucks left to give and that's where i'm at right now that's where i'm at and i love it anyway i'm your proud canadian phoenix cinder shadow i'm gonna sign off here have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again very soon